so hello friends so in this video tutorial we will learn about some more date functions which we are doing on our date series so first of all we will do like if you want to find out the age of any employee or any person how we can find out so we click on this table like we already have a table here then we will add a new column here and if you want to find out age of any employee student and anybody so it will give a single age of that one so if i will write write down age emp i will give it name equal to then i will add this formula date date if this is the formula then it will ask about the date so i will just type date here and just open the bracket so it will give us the format the format is your year month and days so in here i will type some year here then i will put comma and after putting comma i will type some your month so month like if i will type 04 and days i will type 07 and just close the bracket here and again the next thing what i will do i will put comma here then i will type today and after typing today i will open and close bracket and then i will type here and just close the bracket again and just click this button right arrow key and in few seconds we will find age of our employee like we have a age here 26 here so in this case like it will give only one uh, age of one employee but this is the formula here like if you have to find out uh, the age next is like if i will add new column here and in the next day if you want to find out are uh, seven days after our order date so what are which is the date which will come of seven days after a particular order date so this can be used in companies so like when we have shipped like what is the difference to finding out the difference and all these things so here i will write add seven days so it will add seven days to our order date then i will go equal to and i add a formula date add the formula for that is date add then i will type date here then i will find not date i will type here your order date so we will take the order date here and after typing order date i will take date so we have to find out the date and then i will put comma and type here seven and then comma and then i will type day and just click over this button here so we have a day after seven so what will be the date after the order date seventh day so i will just click over this and change the date format to our only date format like it is also giving the time so we don't need the time here we just need the date so we have this date here now next is i will just do a new column here and this time if we want to find out the start of the month and end of the month how we can find out uh, which uh, what is this start date of the month and end of the month these dates are used to find out uh, like our employees like how which employees has recruited in a particular month when the uh, employees left or even in the time of salary also so these columns are used so for start of the month i will write down name here start of month then i will put equal to and after start of month i will type start of month formula is there so i will just type start of month formula and it will ask about the date so if this is our order date i am taking the example of order date here so we will put order date and after getting the order days we have to type it's not working so i have to put the order date here order date then it will ask about how would you like to find we have to find according to the date and then we will just click over this so now we have start of the month of each and every month we have start here and i will convert this into date so this formula we can find out start of the month similarly we can find out the end of the month and to find out the end of the month we just go here and add a new column here 
and just type a formula and now name of the end of month and then press ok equal to so there is a formula with the name EO month for that we can even use that also so I will type and another one is end of month so I will type end of month here and then I will take our table like this column name which is our row name here order date and we have to find according to the date so I will take date here and right click over this so this way we can find out end of the month so this is one formula here beside there there is another formula which is also used in Excel that is your EU month so to use the EO month I will add this column here and here I will write again like if you have to find out the end of next month if you have to find out end of the next month date so how we can find out so for that equal to I will type EO month and it will ask about the column from where we have to take the information so we have to take order date here I will type here order date so we have order date here and according to date we have to find and then I will put comma and for this month we have to type 1 and for next month we have to type 1 so for next month I will type 1 and then click this right arrow key so end of month will be your 31st is for the end of next month and if you want to a previous month then I have to type minus 1 here then we can find the end of previous month and if you want to find out this month so we can even use that also if we put 0 here then we will find the end of this month so we have end of this month so this way we can find out any month like we have to just give 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2 so preceding months are like the month which are coming we can find out end of that month so that's all in this video. Thank you.